Ho, ho, ho! Hello there! We have a new book for you today. Elf number one, please. Here you go, Santa. Thank you, elf number one. This one is by a very close friend, and it's, it's called Twas the Dive Before Christmas, and it is um, written by Mike Hughes, and it's illustrated by Kayla Hughes and Mike Hughes. And it's, it doesn't have the hard cover, so it looks thinner, but sometimes they're in a hard book and sometimes they're in a paper book and they're all just as good. Okay, here we go. Twas the dive before Christmas. Hmm, find the first page. Here we go. Twas the dive before Christmas. I was diving alone. My dry suit was leaking. I was soaked to the bone. I rose to the surface, my tank low on air. My dive light stopped working, but I didn't care. I spit out my mouthpiece, inflated my BC. I floated on my back as I drifted out to sea. The currents were flowing away from the shore. To return where I entered, my chances seemed poor. A splash in the water made me aware that soon a six-scale shark could be there. A glow all around me by luminescent and green, I disrupted the plankton and created a scene. Off in the distance, the orcas I could hear, they sang underwater and spread Christmas cheer. A seal popped its head at out a few feet away with a clam in her mouth. She was ready to play. I started finning the water. I aimed straight for a shore. I had to reach it before my legs got sore. I was fighting a riptide, but I couldn't give in. And that's when it broke, the strap on my fin. You can see the seals. I think you can see the killer whale in the background there too. Or as we call them, orcas. Yet somehow I made it. I crawled up the sand. The fog had rolled in and I couldn't see my hand. Blinded, I walked towards the car in the dark. My knee hit the fender. I found where I parked. By the bulb in my trunk, I put my gear away. Sea salt and all, in plastic bins they all lay. I would rinse them off later and hang them with care. But for now, I rushed homewards. Soon St. Nick would be there. I had to get home. I had to go to bed. I had to get some sleep. I had to rest my head, and in my dream sleeping, sorting out weight belt lead, visions of dive gear would dance in my head. And you can see I'm putting away the dive gear there. In the morning I'd wake and run down the hall to find under the tree gifts big and gifts small, all filled with dive gear like ones at the mall, new masks and new snorkels and tanks wide and tall, perhaps a new dry suit, a wetsuit as well, a new lift bag and gloves, those sure would be swell. Look at that, looks like a toy shop, but only for scuba divers. I'd take all this dive gear and use them that day. I wondered how much dive gear could fit in a sleigh. Those reindeer could pull anything as they fly in my dream. I should ask for something bigger, like a new submarine. One that goes deep, one that's painted bright red. One that's the same color of Santa's own sled. <laughs> So much to wish for, I didn't need it all. As I gazed out the window, the snow started to fall. I saw something in the sky, but I had nothing to fear. It looked like an old man and nine tiny reindeer. The one in the front had a shiny red nose that lit up the fog. You could say that it glowed. And the old man had a white beard, and as he flew out of sight, he said, Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night. All of this happened in the dark in my dreams. I never dive alone, so what did this mean? And you can see someone flying in the sky with nine tiny reindeer. It's hard to sleep deeply when it's Christmas Eve, when you know Santa's coming and Christmas presents he'll leave. But in the morning I awoke to such a wondrous sight, cookies left on the table, had been eaten outright. Santa had been to my house when I was trying to sleep. He went about his business without making a peep. He was absolutely more quiet than the down of a thistle, and he left in my stocking a shiny new whistle. 
and he has a, look at his stocking. It looks like a fin. <laughs> Somehow St. Nick knew just what would bring me joy, and I couldn't wait for the other divers to see my new toy. I'd go out to the dive club so they'd see my new toy too. Perhaps even one day I could go diving with you. Merry Christmas and great dives. And you can see he's using his whistle right there. <laughs> and that's the end of that story. But I just want to show you that back over 12, 15 years ago, that he had started this story with a little cartoon that he had made long ago. Well, we hope you enjoyed that. Even if you're not a diver, maybe someday you'll be a scuba diver and you'll find this book enjoyable too. <laughs> Goodbye for now. Ho, 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 ho.